First of all, for this exercise, we're going to put a border on this page. So this time I'll use design, page border, simple, box border, so you're not forgetting any of this, three point, and say OK. Notice it's getting applied to the whole document. And there we go. Next, position the cursor at the end of all this text. So if I press Control end, E and D, I am at the end of all this text, and I am going to go to Layout, Breaks, and Section Break, Next Page. And that is going to give me a second page, but it is going to be a different section. So if you position the cursor on the page that we just created, which is where it is now, and go and put a red border. And this time, it's very important to click Apply to this section and say OK. So by isolating this next page as a different section, we can change the style of the border from this page to that page. And if we didn't have a section, we would not be able to do that. So I'm telling you the answer to this question. You can see I have a section break right there. I'm going to remove that. And I'm going to add a control enter. That gave me a second page. You can see both are now red. And my cursor is on the second page. And if I attempt to change the border color on the second page to something else and try, you know, I'll say this section and say OK, but this entire document is one section. A page break does not allow you to make a different border, but a a break that is a section break next page will allow you to have a different border on that second page.